This is so dark. Uh, you can probably hear uh, I might try not to be too happy about it. Sorry. That we thank you for giving us uh, this which you have spoken to us who you are. And we we reflect on what we've just for us this morning. That you have been this and speak to us. We are in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, since, the, since the start of the morning, I think you how we abide in Jesus. And how we can allow his life to flow into us and change us from the inside. In the right, it isn't enough. We've got to work and provide if it's really going to change us. If we truly believe something, we if it's true. But uh, I have lots of great discussion uh, over the thing, sharing the Bible stories or verses or power. more of the Bible. Uh, so we're looking at different practices that the Christians do to anchor us in God's presence and make it more like the prayer. We've looked at silence and solitude we've week we're looking at the of studying one of our values which that publicly Life, what we're so in this time that we've got together, this different things about uh, we're going to see what the Bible is, what the Bible is for, and then I want to leave some exercise. We actually uh, put it into practice. So first thing is the Bible. What is the Bible? a lot of stories in God's holy book. Yeah, brilliant. So, it's a book. But, you know, a library of books. Uh, but what kind of book is it? Uh, some people treat God's money for life. Right, that for us. Uh, people treat it like a bit of a, a theology and dignity. Uh, all of our questions out for God and some of those kind of bag of nice inspiring quotes to give you a bit to a quick cafe. But the Bible was written as a rule or a collection of inspiring saying stories. The Bible is simply the sake of that story. A love story. It's also a true story. I'm both a whole life book, saying one big story is Jesus. The book is very different kind of book from the story that you might read, like the reading of Harry Potter, that the Apostle also just heard that the Bible is God. Mean. Yeah. Right back. Yeah. 
living is a brilliant Um, literally breathed out by saying that the Bible comes from God. This is the word of the Lord. It's and on a question from the seventeen hundred years ago. The Holy Spirit is a letter from hope. Love. Think about the way that you read a letter from a friend or a family member. Reading the Bible, the same way see. the reading. God knows us and loves us, invites us, as we reading it to know and love it. from God. I dread you. Thing that uh, Paul about the, that it's used to teaching, rebuking, correcting, training in righteousness. Now, I love the way Eugene Peterson explains this word. This is every picture, good breed, peace of one another. Just really training us to God's way. That's what it does if you look at it. But we want to show the truth we're allowing the Bible to read us. And that's the truth. He wants us to do it. You know, an exam on Bible to get into heaven. St. Peter. Can you for me? On three eighteen says. I'll let it. give someone a relationship with him. So we read the Bible for uh, information, transformation, four things we have for us. Teaches us, us the truth about the truth of life. Indeed, that because it is from God. God tells us who God is and who we are and what love He is. And He knows what He is. And I will repeat what I mean. Again, the key that it's from God. The Bible corrects us. When if you're, if you're at school and you're doing some maths homework, and the put I'm not sure why you allowed to do that anymore. You've done. I used the point uh, uh, teacher doing that just 
taking and uh, you know what to do is. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Uh, it's a big end. You know, it's probably good for you to go through you know, thinking just to buy and we're probably pretty quick. So you to make guilty, but to get us on the right track. And it's the Bible to do that because it's from God and everything. He knows what the right track is. And fourth, the Bible teaches us to train us in this. Our righteousness is a bad, isn't it? Has anyone come to the right Did you say the really bad outfit? That's where I had a lot of fun with the rocks. Anyone? I'm going to send it to you. Um, we use it in every day. Do we? But you use it when he says it. That's what it means. Uh, that's the righteousness. But if we let it, we'll show how to I get my problem to the form empowers us to live it. Third, the Bible. I was a the end of Really equipped for every good work. God doesn't use the Bible uh, so that you go, know, oh, God gives us the Bible so that it will be our hearts. And as it doesn't talk about the Bible, it's a nice idea. God wants to use the Bible to make us people who. Another. It's a new car, a new deal, or a machine. They want the or to be a machine. God gives us the power which tells us who we are and what our life looks like. Because we want to know him, to know and to Is, but God wants us to through the word. He goes to a restaurant and he can you. And you think, oh, it's under that mistaken bit. But the words on the page say, no, words on the middle aren't the middle to help you get the deal. And in the same way, we don't actually read the Bible. If we could just it might again in this. Yes, you can make speech rhyme and verb and choice of words and his Thing that God wants us to hold open. Well, the thing is that God wants His word to become flesh in us too. You, me. So, just just you know, now and as this spirit reading through our souls as we slowly learn of the Bible. But gradually comes possession us and thus transforms our whole beings. Thus spiritual readings continuing in the name of the one word. 
Jesus. Jesus Christ. God gave flesh living. It's story of Jesus. And I reflect on it. God in us. God makes us a living Christ. to us can be a story of leaders. But the truth tells us about the good life. Seeks to find out what the Bible is for. The Bible is specific. It's a bright burning reality out in every day all our lives. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for words for the Bible will help us to hear the spirit. May it be part of lives. May it be us. Tomorrow.